Question six, this is um, about the nuclear physics section, the life cycle of stars. In this section, really, you just need to learn uh, the sequence for a star uh, and the different options, heavy star or less heavy star, and all the details. I've got a video that goes through all of that, um, which I'll put the link to in here. So as part of its life cycle, a star changes from a protostar into a main sequence star. Explain the difference between a protostar and a main sequence star. So have a little think, maybe go back and watch that video. What's the difference, what's going on between a protostar and a main sequence star? Okay, welcome back. Well, importantly, a protostar is like a young star. It's like a low temperature star. So that's the first difference. Okay, now, a protostar is when the, the conditions are just right for fusion to begin. So you could next, you could say that a main sequence star fusion is happening. So you remember hopefully that fusion is the process by which stars give out their energy. So the next one then, um, the early universe contained only atoms of hydrogen. The universe now contains atoms of over 100 different elements. I think we were on 118 last time I checked, but maybe even more. Um, the, so, importantly, start with hydrogen. Now we have loads of different elements explain how the different elements now contained in the universe were formed. So when I teach this topic, I always start by that idea that, well, we're all made of stardust, but everything on Earth was actually made in a star. And you just need to explain how that happened. So start off with hydrogen, importantly. Remember the process that we've mentioned above, how new nuclei are formed, how new atoms are formed. Uh, and think also about the heaviest of elements and how did they form. Again, these details are all in that video I mentioned earlier. Pause the video now and have a little go. Hopefully, every single one of you has got one mark because you've just put fusion. Okay, uh, new nuclei are formed by fusion. Okay, you maybe you want to write it as like smaller nuclei. The definition of fusion is small nuclei join not John join to make larger ones. Okay, that's your first bit. Now remember it said it started with hydrogen, I highlighted that was the one key bit there. Uh, so you need to mention that hydrogen joined to make helium. That must have been the first process, wasn't it? Uh, so they actually want you to mention that in there. Now, in a normal star, in the main sequence star, all the elements up until iron are formed. That's because iron is a very stable, very stable um, nucleus. But we have elements heavier than iron, don't we? So we, we must have, they must have been formed somewhere else. And they were formed in a supernova. So the elements which are heavier than iron were formed in a supernova. OK, 
Okay, so that's not an easy question really for three marks. I would expect everyone to get that one, fusion. Okay, but these other two, well that's just about really learning as many details as you can about this bit here, about this life cycle of stars section. And it's really interesting, so go ahead and learn lots about it. Okay, let's go on to the next and last question.